And here's the fan that we're going to be installing. It is a Harbor Breeze 0807427. Alright, so here's everything we got. We got our blade arms, our fan blades, the base cover, the motor, and we got this bracket that connects to the outlet box up in the ceiling and and then this box that's connected to it up here that's the remote receiver and it's got a remote control for this fan you got your light cover your light assembly there got some mounting hardware uh, balancing kit and some wire nuts not a whole lot to it looks pretty simple uh, let's see if we can get it on Alright, we're going to install a ceiling fan right there. First thing I want to do is go up in the attic and see if it has a uh, ceiling brace and box that can support a ceiling fan. Just want to make sure it's done right up there before I go tearing things out down here. Um, see what all I need. Well, time to go up there. It's uh, 10 in the morning. It's already 91 degrees up in the attic. Let's, uh, let's go check it out. Look at this rat's nest of beans I'm going to have to climb through just to get back there to the room to see if it's got the brace. So after some calculated digging, this one is reinforced by a metal beam. I got, and there's the metal box. You want to make sure it's a metal box and not a plastic one. When you go to put this in, just make sure it's actually connected to the other side. And they screwed it into the other side also, so we're good. Let's cover this back up. So if I wouldn't have already had that support brace up there, I would have been trying to install this one between the two uh, beams up there, the two metal beams, uh, to get to get something that could actually support the weight of a fan. But since it already has one, we're good. All right, now that we've confirmed that it can support a fan up there. Let's go ahead and shut off power to the room here so that there's nothing going to the light and then we'll install the fan. So I'm at the circuit breaker box which is in my garage. Let's go ahead and shut off power to that room. Got our master bedroom. Uh, let's see if that did it. As you can see the lights off. Flick your switch a few times just to make sure. Alright, now it's time to take the light off. Alright, if you need another way to check to see if there's voltage here, uh, you can use this little sniffer. They'll light up and let you know if there's any voltage. Alright, so this fixture has a bolt up through the middle there. I couldn't quite get it with my fingers, so I had to get a needle nose pliers to start turning it. But now that it's loose, and my fingers are still a little too big to get up in there, but finish it off with the nail nose here. Oh, finally. Man, that was a long nut long bolt I mean man that was a long bolt With the 
my fixture out. Might as well just double check, make sure there's no voltage detected with this thing. As far as the wires go, if you want to double check with a meter, make sure that there's no voltage. You can just clip to your ground and touch your control, nothing. You're hot, nothing. And then go from your neutral to your hot. Make sure there's nothing there. You're good. Let's get this junk light fixture out of here. All right, now I need to take the bracket out for the light fixture. And then we're done with the light fixture bracket. Then we're done with the light fixture completely. So just to show you what it would look like if there's actually power to your wires and you're using the sniffer. So right there, that one's your hot. The other two don't show anything. Alright, time to install this thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fish the wires down through the center hole here. And then I'm using the screws that came out of the bracket that was in the electrical box for the, the light fixture that came out. So you want to make sure that this bracket is tight up there because this is going to be bearing the weight of the fan. You don't want it wobbling all over the place. Yep, that's good and tight. Alright, so the Red wire is for the hot, which typically black coming from the outlet, but this one's red for some reason. Maybe some electrical contractor can explain it. I'm connecting the red to red because the red is a hot line for the fan. And the white to white for the neutral. Twist it on there and screw on your wire nut. Make sure there's no exposed wires. Um, I'd like to give it a little tug, make sure everything's in there. And then just uh, for safe measure, you can go ahead and electrical tape it up. I'll do the white to the white, and then we'll get the motor up. Alright, <clears throat> now these two are wired up, so I'll go ahead and shove them up into the top there. Alright, so now we got the fan motor. I'm going to go ahead and take off these four screws. So that when we hook it up in there, we can put the screws up through this bracket and into this. Alright, got my screws out. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and hook it up inside here and slide it until I can get the other side up in there. Just make sure you don't pinch any wires in the process. There we go. Then we can uh, put the screws back in up there. Uh, there's a little lip that should fit down inside a uh, cutout groove there. All secure. Wire up the ground wire. What? So it's actually moving? That's cool. It's actually moving. Plug this in. It's time to move. And shove them up there out of the way. All right, now it's time to put the base on. Oh. Take the screws off that are here, put the base on. And so you can actually put, i uh, leave a couple screws in, the ones that line up with the hook there so that you can just hook it up there. Done. Alright, get that hooked in there. Cover's on. Alright, now I'm working on putting the fan blades together. You know, putting the side that you want showing, um, flip the other way. So this will be the side showing. And then I got these screws with the washer there that hold these on. I'm going to do all five blades and get back with you. Got all the fan blades put together. Now it's time to take these screws out and... Alright, blades are on. Alright, so we're down to getting the light fixture installed to it. And it's got the three screws, got to take off and then put back on when you get it up there. And then you got to plug these two wires in where it tells you to plug them in. It goes white to white, blue to black. And there's little locking tabs that you gotta line up. And then just make sure you don't pinch any wires when putting this up there. And also, 
this notch needs to line up with the switch. There's a switch. It's on the opposite side from the camera, but uh, a notch lining it up with the switch so it'll go on there correctly. Alright, it goes up all the way. Yay! Alright, we're putting in our uh, LED lights. Good. Alright, so we need to take this cap on the bottom off and this nut and rubber washer here. This goes up there. Like so. Put your rubber washer on. And the nut. Bottom cap on now. <sighs> We're good. Now you're going to want to turn your circuit breaker back on and make sure your light switch is on when you go to use your fan. Alright, so here's the remote and then it comes with a little bag that has a battery for it. It's a little 12 volt battery. Alright, the remote's ready to use. It, it does have this hook that you can mount against the wall and then hook it into that. Just... Alright, let's test it out. Alright, power it on, buddy. Woohoo! There we go. Alright, now try the fan. <laughs> kind of like good. It kind of does look good. High speed, buddy. The very top one. Very top button. High speed? High speed? Oh, there it goes. It's nice and quiet. I can feel the air, but I don't hear it. Very nice. And I guess if it's wobbling, it's got a balance kit that you can uh, try to get it to stop. So here's the balance kit and the instructions if you want to see that. You got this clip that you put on the blade to find out which one helps balance it out. Then you have your uh, little weighted sticky tabs that you put on the blades to uh, actually uh, make it balanced. So. Here's the instructions if you need to know that and how to do it. Enjoy. But thank you for watching.